Yo, 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 what's up, Diamond family? It's your man, Vivi, and welcome back to the VVS Academy. As you guys know, I'm here every week dropping off gems, teach you to record, and makes your music better. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. Look, man, I got a really crazy video for you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys the secret to rap vocal compression, all right? And it's not what you think, I promise you guys. Matter of fact, I'm not really gonna over talk it, man. I'm gonna jump right into it, but look, if you're still struggling to get your vocals and your beat to balance out perfectly every single time, check out my free course down below. It's gonna completely change the game for you, teach you my simple technique for balancing out the vocals and the beat perfectly every single time. It takes about 15 minutes, it's completely free, so go ahead and check that out. All right. Right, bet. Let's listen back to the track and I'm going to tell you guys what the number one mistake you're making is cuz I made it in this song. Let's hear. All right, bet bet bet. So you can hear this song and immediately pick up on the issue. Can you? You know what it is? If you know what it is, drop me a comment down below before I say it, man. I'm gonna just wait a couple seconds. All right, bet. The song is completely inconsistent. It just was not recorded well. And if you don't record your song well, you're gonna have a hard time compressing it well and getting it to sound upfront and present in your song and industry quality like you want it to. So if you notice, a lot of these sections, as it switches from section to section, I'm just gonna zoom in here so you can really focus on the lead vocals, right? So. These right here are the lead vocals. This is also another ad lib. You can see it's going to the lib bus. But all of these lead vocals, if you listen to them play back, they're super inconsistent. Watch this. Especially notice right here when this next section comes in, listen to how much quieter it is than the passage before it. Right, so now if you're working with these vocals the way that I teach, where basically you put, you send everything to the lead vocal bus instead of trying to work individual tracks like that, you're gonna immediately come down here and start trying to turn things up and compress and apply effects and all that kind of stuff. But what you need to do first is create a better, a more consistent sounding vocal. So there's not so many like huge variations in the volume. It doesn't get really loud and then really quiet. We wanna minimize that because it's gonna cause our compressor to do more work than it has to do when it comes time to compression. This is all simply a product of improper gain staging. I didn't set the mic levels and everything the way I should have when I started recording him. And now it's gonna take way longer for me to fix it than it would if I had just done it right from the beginning. So let's talk about fixing it. The first thing that I do is I'm gonna actually to go to this section first let's go ahead and, and adjust our grid all right we're going to adjust our grid and what we're going to do is just start to boost up some of these sections and minimize some of these sections that are a little bit too loud just so that we can get a more consistent sound a more even sound before we apply compression all right so let's go ahead and turn this down a little bit and we're going to listen when we play this back it's going to already start to sound like it's been compressed and that's great because it's, it means our compressor can do less work when our compressor does less work it's more transparent which means the vocal sounds more natural more professional more authentic less kind of digital and and, and processed so let's go ahead and try to keep this vocal sounding as natural as possible we're only going to focus on this little section right here just so you guys get the idea we don't have to do every every part of the song um so we're going to bring this section down and i'm really just kind of using my eyes i don't want to go too much further down than like six or anything like that i want it to be a dramatic change in volume um hang on one second i think i'm gonna have to hold this there we go As you guys know, I like to work in grid mode, and grid mode, if you hold the command button, it allows you to move around just like you're in um, slip mode. So let's go ahead and play back now and see how how consistent, how much more consistent this vocal sounds. All right, so I like that. It's a lot more consistent. Let's turn this down a little bit and bring this next section up as well. And you can see that I had done a little bit of volume matching um, or gain reduction or whatever prior to this, but I figured it'd probably be better to show you guys how I would do it in this instance. So let's go ahead and play it now, listen to this little section or passage of the song, and then we'll actually dive into compressing it. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. Oh, I... 
cool. I think that's much more consistent. So now we can come down here to our VMR channel and load up a compressor. And for this vocal, since it is still, ha since it does still have some like jumps in the volume, I'm going to start with a very fast compressor. I'm going to use the distressor. I'm going to go with a very fast attack here because I really want this vocal to, to be well controlled and tight and present like right in your face. And in order to do that, we really got to control these peaks. So let's do some of that right now. Cool. I like the sound of that. I think there's some low mid information that we should maybe clean up. So let's grab an EQ and just clean some of that up. So the easiest way to kind of EQ a vocal, and you're getting a two for one right here because we're going to talk a little bit about EQ. If you're not that great at EQ, grab an EQ like this that already has preset um, frequencies and just go through them and listen to what stands out and, which do and what doesn't sound right and cut that frequency. So I'll show you. So, mm, don't try me. I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene if you go against the code. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. And for me, I think that 400 is a little heavy. So, we're just gonna back it up 2 dB and see how that sounds. So, mm, don't try me. I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. And now it's starting to sound just a little bit thin, so let's add that 2 dB back on the output of this EQ. Um, bow. There we go. Now let's go without it. So it's a subtle difference, but it makes a huge difference when you start adding the rest of your vocal chain. When we add the next compressor and start to hold this vocal down a little bit more, you're going to notice these things pop out more. So you want to take these steps at every step to kind of control things and get things in order. All right, so we got um, compression, we got EQ, we're going to follow this up with another compressor. I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know if I want to use the vintage, the blue 1176 or the black 1176, because when he's hitting those high notes, the vocal, the voice does get a little bit thin a little bit harsh there and I think that might get accentuated when we use the blue 1176 I'm going to try the black one first and if I'm not happy with the results we'll go with the blue one starting to sound darker than I want it to though let me go back and that's still I think that 400 but we'll see let's go and try the blue one really quickly and I think we'll be um we can kind of compare and see which one feels better all right we've already bypassed the black one let's go with the blue one and I hope you notice when I hit that circuit too, the entire sound of the vocal changed. And that's what it that's why it's important to choose the tool you want to use specific to the vocal that you're working on. And it doesn't have to be the same tool for the same artist every time. Depending on the song and the way they delivered it, you're gonna have to use a different tool. So it's it's great to get familiar with different, you know, versions of the same plugin. It's over compressed at this point, but I'm just trying to flip back and forth so you can hear. So number one is just a little bit thinner. Number two is a little bit of, has a little more body in it, a little bit more low mid energy and it lets it come forward a little bit more. I think I'm probably going to go with, I'm not sure. Let me try the black one again. Now let's go to the black one. Oh, no, I think the um, I think the black one sounds a little bit better. I think code is turned down a little bit too much. I like the black one a little better. Let's grab one more EQ for this. I'm going to just go with the Infinity EQ. So I'm done with the VMR for now. Let's grab the Infinity EQ and see what we can dial in. Don't try me. I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. You go against the code. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. Oh, I. 
until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. Oh, I get my shirt back when she's sleeping in the morning. I care how you thinking that you should be my shorty. So, mm, don't try. I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. And it's right there in that 680, 700 is where we want to cut some more. So let's go ahead and drop that down just a little bit. 2 dB should be good. And let's see how much we need to add on the way out. So, mm, don't try I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. You go against the code. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Into so, mm, don't try I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. You go against the code. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. Oh, I so the last tool I'm going to use on this vocal is the Arvox. And Arvox is a great compressor to make a vocal sound like an industry vocal. Um, something about the way it's, it's built, it just has the signature sound of a vocal that you're used to hearing. So I'm going to aim for maybe 3 to 5 dB of gain reduction using this compressor. So, mm, don't try me. I got niggas on go. It's going to be a crime scene if you go against the code. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. Oh, I And we really might not need three. I think right there is pretty good. Let's mess with it a little more. So, mm, don't try me. I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. If you go get. So, mm, don't try me. I got niggas on go. It's gonna be a crime scene. If you go against the code. Almost let a bitch fuck my head up. Until I'm fed up. Had to get my bread up. Cool. So I think that sounds a lot better. Let's do this. Let's bring the effects back and get a better picture for how this vocal is going to sound. So I'm going to bring back our CLA effects. I'm going to bring back our reverb. Now let's listen to the vocal. And so we went from a vocal that was kind of imprecise and unclear and unsure and kind of all over the place to a vocal that's much more focused and concise and present, like in front of you. And that's where you want your vocals to be when you're trying to get that industry quality sound. Look, man, these are the tips I'm giving you guys week in and week out. And if you need a little bit more help, drop me a line down below. My name is Vivi and I'm here for you. Remember, stay humble, make diamonds only. Peace.